What is up ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is Jeff Benjamin with iDownload Blog. Yes, I'm going to show you how to control your Mac with your Siri remote. First thing you want to do is unplug your Apple TV, literally unplug the power cord, download better touch tool, and once you do that, we're going to get started. Now you need to unplug your Apple TV so that you can actually pair the Siri remote via Bluetooth. So you want to just open up the system preferences and Bluetooth settings here, and then you want to hold the volume up button and the menu button at the same time and when you do that you're going to notice on your mac right there you're going to see the bluetooth device pop up it's not going to actually say siri remote or anything like that just click pair when you see that and then it'll pair all right so now we can close out of the bluetooth settings and now we're going to launch the alpha version of better touch tool i'll have that linked in the description you need the alpha version because that's the version that includes support for the siri remote so you want to go to the menu bar go to the preferences for a better touch tool and then you click Siri remote and then you can go ahead and add a new gesture now you want to select gesture the first thing you want to do at least in my opinion is to select a button gesture and then assign that to the Siri remote mouse control toggle option and this allows you to actually control your mouse with the Siri remote once you toggle it on now I'm going to add one more new trigger here and this time I'm going to select Siri remote touchpad and then use a click of the touchpad to simulate the press or the left mouse button press there. So I'm going to choose predefined action and then mouse click actions and left click. So basically when I click the touchpad, it's going to simulate a left click on the mouse. Now let's turn things on by holding the menu button like we assigned earlier and that basically toggles on the touch surface. So now I can use the touch surface as a mouse. So you can see me dragging along on the touch surface and the mouse cursor moving. And if I click on the touch surface, that will be like left clicking on a mouse. So I'm going to try to position the cursor just right and minimize this window. There we go. So that's all done using the Siri remote. Now it's not the most accurate, precise feeling method of control, uh, but it does work. And it is really cool that you can do this. So obviously you're probably not going to want to use your Siri remote as your primary method of input. It's not gonna replace your mouse or trackpad, but nonetheless, it is really cool that you can do this and Better Touch Tool is super powerful. You can assign pretty much any sort of action to any of the buttons on the Siri remote. And that's what makes Better Touch Tool so powerful. Let me know what you think in the comments. This is Jeff with iDownload Blog.